Last Friday, I posted a video on the Nordic military industrial base and my top three list from each country based on my knowledge operating in and around infantry-based systems for my whole adult life. The reactions from many of you was that my top three for Sweden should have included other things and people suggested that I make a full video on Sweden in order to do it justice. Your wish is my command. The Swedish defense industry is renowned for its advanced technology, innovation and high quality production, playing a pivotal role in ensuring both national security and contributing to global peacekeeping efforts. Sweden's strategic approach to defense, underscored by its history of neutrality and commitment to technological excellence, has positioned its defense sector as a significant player on the international stage. Sweden is the world's third largest exporter and producer of military technology and equipment per capita, only behind Israel and Russia, with Russia's numbers highly inflated due to its war in Ukraine. At the forefront of Sweden's industry is Saab, a company with a rich legacy in aerospace and defense. Saab's JS-39 Gripen multi-role fighter jet exemplifies Sweden's prowess in aviation technology. The Gripen is celebrated for its versatility, agility and cutting-edge avionics, making it a cornerstone of Sweden's air defense capabilities and a valuable export product for numerous countries. This fighter jet is designed to perform a wide range of missions, from air superiority and ground attack to reconnaissance and electronic warfare ensuring it meets the diverse demands of modern military operations. The buck really doesn't stop there for Sweden's aerospace industry, with Saab also making some remarkable AWACS aircraft, like the Global Iron Iriai, which more and more nations friendly to Sweden are now taking delivery of. Furthermore, due to Sweden producing their own fighter jets, they are also producing most of the systems to go on board, set jets, flight radars, munitions, electronic warfare additions, you name it, Saab has also recently invested heavily in the UAV sector, and their top-of-the-line unmanned helicopter, the Skeldar, is promising. In addition to its air defense capabilities, Sweden excels in land-based weapon systems. In the comment section of my earlier video on Nordic military equipment, one of the things mentioned most was the Carl Gustav recoilless rifle. This shoulder-fired weapon is widely used by military forces globally due to its reliability, ease of use, and effectiveness in various combat scenarios. It can engage multiple targets, including armored vehicles, fortifications, and enemy personnel, demonstrating the versatility and innovation of Swedish land-based military technology. On top of this variant, Sweden produces a wide range of anti-tank and armor capability, like the AT-4 and NLAW, widely used and hailed in Ukraine as great weapons. Continuing on land, we can't forget the CV-90, or Combat Vehicle 90, a highly versatile and advanced family of armored combat vehicles developed by BAE Systems Haglund. Renowned for its adaptability and superior performance in various combat scenarios, the CV-90 is equipped with state-of-the-art technology, including advanced sensors, communication systems, and modular armor. It is designed to provide excellent mobility, protection, and firepower capable of operating in diverse environments, from Arctic conditions to urban warfare. The CV-90's modular design allows for multiple configurations, including infantry fighting vehicle, mortar turret systems, command vehicle, and forward observation, making it a crucial asset for modern military forces. Its effectiveness is demonstrated by its adoption by several countries, especially those in Northern and Central Europe, and it has been deployed to many combat zones with very proven records including Ukraine only losing one, which was later repaired, out of their 50 or so CV-90. No matter how hard you try, you can't get past the Archer artillery system developed by Bofors. It is a state-of-the-art, self-propelled artillery platform designed to provide superior firepower, mobility, and precision. Mounted on a robust 6x6-wheeled chassis, the Archer system features a fully automated 155mm howitzer capable of rapid deployment and high rates of fire. It can deliver accurate, long-range artillery support with a range exceeding 50 kilometers using precision-guided munitions. The system's advanced automation allows for a minimal crew, increased efficiency, and reduced exposure to counter-battery fire. The Archer is proving to be one of the most effective counter-battery systems in the war in Ukraine, and crews can often unload a whole magazine 
and move before anyone can respond. While we're talking about artillery, it would be a shame not to mention Sweden's in-house artillery shell production. Sweden's artillery shell production is characterized by its focus on precision, innovation, and quality, ensuring that its artillery systems are among the most effective in the world. Companies like Bofors lead the industry producing a range of advanced artillery munitions, including the highly regarded 155mm bonus round. These shells are designed with smart technology to improve accuracy and lethality, featuring sensor-fused sub-munitions capable of independently targeting and destroying two armored vehicles in one shot. Sweden also produces some of the world's most advanced anti-air systems, designed to provide robust defense against a wide range of aerial threats. Central to this capability is the RBS-70, a portable air defense system. The RBS-70 utilizes a laser-guided missile to achieve high precision and effectiveness against aircraft, helicopters, and drones. Its portability and ease of use make it a versatile option for various combat scenarios. Another key system is the BOMC, a medium-range surface-to-air missile system also developed by Saab. BAMC provides comprehensive protection for fixed and mobile assets, utilizing radar-guided missiles for high accuracy and reliability. Sweden's main battle tank, the Stridsvan 122, is a highly advanced variant of the German Leopard 2, tailored to meet the specific needs of the Swedish armed forces. Developed by Haglunds in collaboration with Kraus Maffei Wegman, the STRV-122 features enhanced armor protection, including modular composite armor, and advanced mine protection systems, making it one of the most survivable tanks in the world. It is equipped with a powerful 120mm smoothbore gun, advanced fire control systems, and superior mobility to perform effectively in various terrains, from urban environments to rugged landscapes. The STRV-122's advanced electronics, including improved thermal imaging and night vision capabilities, ensure high battlefield awareness and precision targeting. The STRV-122 is currently undergoing an upgrade, which will make it into one of the most advanced main battle tanks in the world. With reactive anti-drone technology, integrated spotter drones and technology, which will keep it up there as one of the best MBTs in the world. When it comes to Sweden's anti-ship missile technology, it is exemplified by the RBS-15, a long-range all-weather sea-skimming missile designed to engage and destroy a variety of surface targets. It features advanced guidance systems, including inertial navigation and radar homing, which ensure high accuracy and effectiveness against enemy vessels. The missile's versatility allows it to be launched from various platforms, including ships, aircraft, and coastal defense systems. Its robust design and powerful warhead enable it to penetrate modern naval defenses and deliver a decisive impact. The Swedish Navy is another critical component of the country's defense industry, particularly with its focus on protecting Sweden's extensive coastline and maritime interest in the Baltic Sea. The VSB class corvettes built by Kokum are a standout feature of the Navy. These advanced stealth ships are designed for literal combat and are equipped with state-of-the-art sensors and weapon systems. Their stealth technology makes them nearly invisible to radar, providing a significant tactical advantage in naval operations. As with many of the Nordic nations, the size of these ships aren't what's important. They're there to sneak up on much larger enemies and take them apart with state-of-the-art missile technology and get out of there before they're detected. Sweden's submarines, notably the Gotland class, are renowned for their advanced stealth and cutting-edge technology. Also developed by Cockums, these diesel-electric submarines utilize air-independent propulsion AIP systems, allowing them to remain submerged for extended periods without surfacing. This capability provides a significant tactical advantage making them exceptionally difficult to detect. The Gotland-class submarines are equipped with sophisticated sonar and communication systems, modern torpedoes, and advanced countermeasure technologies. Their quiet operation and stealth capabilities make them a critical asset in both coastal defense and international naval missions. The success of the Gotland-class has led to international interest and collaboration, highlighting Sweden's expertise in submarine technology and its ability to contribute significantly to undersea warfare. In a simulation, one of Sweden's Gotland subs landed hits on a US aircraft carrier completely undetected. Sweden is currently developing the A-26 submarine, a next-generation platform designed to enhance its maritime defense capabilities. 
The A26 class will feature state-of-the-art technologies, including even more advanced stealth capabilities, modular design, and a versatile payload system. They will also upgrade the current air-independent propulsion system, creating a beast of a stealth submarine, which will be a welcome addition to the few Norwegian Blue Water subs currently operating in the Nordics. We're not done with Sweden's naval production yet. We must include the CB-90, or a Combat Boat 90. Developed by Dr. Varvid, this versatile and fast assault craft is designed for rapid deployment and high maneuverability in coastal and riverine environments. It is ideal for military operations like troop transport, reconnaissance, and special forces missions. Equipped with advanced navigation systems, ballistic protection, and capable of being armed with machine guns, grenade launchers, and missile systems. In order for this list to be complete, in my humble opinion, we need to include one of the most iconic Swedish guns of all time. The Bofors 40mm anti-aircraft gun, now being revamped to Trident Mark II by Bofors. This historic weapon has seen more conflicts over nearly 100 years in service than most other military equipment out there, and is deservedly getting upgraded to the next level. It will focus on anti-drone and aircraft capability, something which is going to be very important in future conflicts. Modernization and technological advancements are key priorities for the Swedish defense sector. Continuous investment in research and development ensures that Sweden remains at the cutting edge of military technology. This includes exploring the integration of artificial intelligence and autonomous systems into defense operations, which have the potential to revolutionize the battlefield by enhancing both operational effectiveness and safety. Both Saab and Bofors are working on getting AI to circumvent jamming so that missiles and drones are able to find their targets without external input. The Swedish defense industry's innovation is supported by strong partnerships with academic institutions and other technology companies. Collaborations in research and development lead to the creation of new advanced defense systems that can address a wide range of security challenges. This collaborative approach not only fosters technological growth, but also ensures that the Swedish armed forces are equipped with the best possible tools to defend the nation and support international peace efforts. In conclusion, with companies like Saab and BAE leading the way in aerospace and defense technology and a comprehensive approach to modern threats, Sweden continues to play a crucial role in global defense. Through continuous investment in modernization, strong international partnerships, and a focus on cutting-edge technology, the Swedish defense industry ensures that the country remains a key player in ensuring both national and global security. It is one of the best military industries in the world. Do you think I missed anything out? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, I'd be honored if you subscribed and liked. Have a good one, folks.